Hi guys, I hope that you are all safe and that you are all well. I hope that you've had a fabulous Beltane weekend, whatever you're getting up to. Welcome to the magic of Sunday. So as ever, I'm just coming on to do the um, tarot reviews and oracle reviews. So this week I'm actually going to be showcasing um, a deck that has been created by one of my beautiful friends, the amazing... Um, Ronash. I kind of call her the Fairy Queen because that's really how I know her. She does a lot of the psychic and spiritual kind of fairs and she's always dressed up in her sort of uh, pixie ears and her wings and just looking sparkly and fabulous. So I thought with the energy of Beltane and obviously the celebration of the sun and spring and all this magic that we've been having that what better um, deck to kind of showcase to you guys. So it's called the Enchanting Flowers um, Flower Wisdom Cards. So like I say, created by Ro. So I don't know if you can sort of see this here. Now I love to celebrate self-published decks because not only are they fabulous because someone's taken their own initiative to create something wonderful, they're not always as well known or talked about, you know. So I think it's really lovely to just sort of showcase um, the magic. Now these are really, really cute because they are a very cute sort of dinky, unique sort of size. So I really like them. So this is the box, as you can see. So it's a lovely kind of, um, it's quite a basic box. This deck isn't fancy or fluffy, but I quite like that, that it's just real. It really encaptures the magic of spring and nature, the seasons and all of this kind of energy, you know. And this is the thing. True nature isn't always perfect. True nature isn't always pristine condition. And that's what I love about this, you know. I'm not saying that this is a rough deck or anything like this because it's beautiful, but it does really encompass and capture the true essence of what I feel nature is about. So as we open up, we've got the beautiful um, cards themselves. And as you can see, these are an amazing size. You can use these for so many things, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. And then there's not an actual, like an official book exactly, but what we do have in here is we have, oops, sort of this little leaflet literature with all of the cards. So this gives us everything that we need to know about. Now it tells us a little bit of a quick overview and I'll just read this out because I think this is really nice. So these are these 44 flower wisdom cards have been created with love, inspired by the flower fairies and plant divas. Nature is a great teacher and these cards can be used to help connect with nature and gain insight into situations, guidance and solutions. So it's lovely that this is a deck that there is meanings, but it also encourages you to work with your own intuition. So fabulous. Now I will say the stock quality in these bad boys, even though they're small, the stock quality is really, really good. I don't know if you can see that too well. These are thick. You know, these are really, really rigid. I'm bending that quite a lot and it's not really sort of doing too much. So these are great stock quality. These are really well printed, I have to say. Back of the cards, beautiful multicolored flower, as you can sort of see that. You know, kind of like a rose, I feel it is. I'm rubbish with flowers, so, you know, apologies if I get this wrong as we go through, because I probably will. Um, but yeah, these are amazing. Now, you can use these for your altar. I have used these in spell work. I have used these for healing, and I've used these in readings. So this deck has so many uses. It's very diversifiable. So I just want to show you um, each of the cards. So there's a colour combinations as well. So they all have their own colour which is like a sort of a house or a suit, if you like. And then there's a plant. All the plants have been taken from various locations. Some have come from Rose Garden and, you know, places of interest that she's been to. So that's what I love with this. Everything is, you know, very authentic, very organic. Um, and then it's got a sort of a word on the bottom. So this one just says soul serenity. And so each of the cards have a little piece. And as you can see, they're all different colours. So I'll probably show you, I probably will show you all of these. It's a 44 um, deck as described. So yeah, I probably will show you all of them, I think. Okay. 
this is one of my personal favourites. I just love that. To me, that is beautiful. This always stands out. It says unicorn, but it just really, really stands out, that one for me. I have no idea why, but there's just something about it that I absolutely resonate with. Oops, and I absolutely love. There's a couple that I really, really like, but that was one of them. This is another one, actually, the healing. That is beautiful. And another one. This is a, this one makes me smile as well. Magic. I just love the little mushrooms. Oh, and this one's really nice. This one's a bit. This is the only kind of really really mystical one. That's in a league of its own there. But these are so gentle to work with, but actually they can give really, really amazing insight and guidance as well. So yes, they're gentle in some ways, but they still pack a punch. They still deliver the message of what needs to be had in, uh, in hand, which I think is fabulous. This is another one that I really love. Sorry, there's going to be a few of these that I really love. But this one with the little acorns, I just love that. Like I say, I probably am going to show you all of these just because I think it's quite nice to be able to do. Now, if you're interested in purchasing this, uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link up to Rose Page so you can actually um, get in touch with her. Give her page a like as well on Facebook and, um, you know, make sure that if you're interested in this deck, I'll put the link up so you can purchase directly through the correct channels because I think with self-employed deck, self-employed, self-published text is really, really important to make sure you're getting the genuine thing, making sure that you're getting the authentic stuff because, you know, with any deck, a lot of time and love has gone into it, but particularly I think with sort of self-promoted and self-published work, it doesn't always get enough praise and this is one of my favourite decks. Um, it's so simple as you can see, but it's actually really powerful and you can use this to pull a card for the day, you can use this... Um, to work on your own personal intuition and your own psychic development. As I said, you can use it in spell work, you can use it in healing, um, and you can do full readings with it as well. This is another one I really love, Hope. Really love that one. So I think it is quite important to sort of uh, just showcase that. And this is your lot, guys. Now, what's great with this, we've got two leaflets. So, one of them talks heavily about the colours, okay? So, it gives us an understanding of the colour messages. So, it just says here, Nature always wears the colours of the spirit. Part of the beauty of these lovely flowers are the colours. In addition, there are coloured borders on the cards. Each colour has an energy of its own, which will give deeper messages from the cards. If you find you have several cards of the same colour in your reading, take note of what the colour might represent. So a particular colour, if it's dominant, if you're doing it in a full spread, gives you a bit more extra information. So I think that's fabulous to have both aspects, actually. So we can obviously work with them, both of those things. So, as ever, guys, what I'm going to do is just... Oops pick a card for this Sunday and also this will represent the coming week ahead so it's a lush little dainty deck um, if you've got sort of really small hands and if you don't like big cards these are definitely going to be you know a cool size for you to work with they're quite nice to shuffle actually even though they're small they're quite easy to shuffle it's quite surprising um, or you could just sort of flatten them out and sort of pour one at random um, which I might actually do I might do that and I'll quickly just, what I'll do, if I sort of just tilt the camera so you can hopefully see my table. Oops, trying to sort of watch my hands with this. Hang on, bear with me. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't turn the thing off. Can you still see that? Yeah, you can. 
Okay, so oh, sort of just about kind of. So what I'm going to do is just pick one at random me. That one's calling me. Okay, so that was rubbish. I'm going to have to get a proper selfie stick or something so that you can actually see when I have to move things around because that was really, really rub rubbish, me sort of showing that to you. But we got the card of inspiration and we've got this beautiful um, daffodil, I believe. I'm rubbish with my flowers, but I'm pretty sure I know that that's a daffodil. Now watch the book, it will sort of pull me up and say that it's something completely different to make me look foolish. So what we can do is we can look for the green section, which is just here on the bottom on this uh, little page. So the energy of it being green, the message from that, first of all, green is the colour of nature and the natural world. It is a colour of balance, restful on the eyes. It symbolises new growth, harmony, freshness and healing power. It suggests endurance and stability. And I think we've all had a lot of that with, you know, situations, you know, the, the external kind of environment of our world at the moment. I think it's tested a lot of us and it's surprised us how strong in a lot of cases we actually are. So love that side of things. So then what we'll do, we'll look for inspiration in, um, in here and just see if I can find it. Now, these look like they're in possibly alphabetical order. There we go, it's in the middle part. Daffodil, I was right. I'm not that stupid. I'm pretty sure I knew that that was a daffodil. <laughs> daffodil is uplifting and energising. It is the coming of spring. Oh my God, obviously with Beltane that we had sort of yesterday and the sort of celebrations of the springtime. New beginnings. Leave the past behind and use your creativity and inspiration for a new beginning. Daffodil helps you understand your true potential and celebrate it, your own inner beauty. It brings clarity, awareness and inner reflection. Use your voice to speak, sing and shout. Oh my God, I think with obviously the energy of Beltane, the celebration of everything we've got going on at the moment with the spring magic, that is a perfect message I feel for us guys. I really like that. The messages are now channeled so beautifully, I have to say. And I'm not just saying that because she's my friend. Honestly, I really, really think this is a cool deck. This is what I mean. It's it's basic in some ways, but it packs a punch. Um, so that's pretty much the kind of cards in their entirety, to be honest, guys. Um, so, yeah. In terms of its rating, it's really hard with sort of self-produced decks because I know things like cost and everything come into it to a degree. Um, I do think that it's an 8 or a 9. Um, the only thing I, I dislike slightly is I wish the box had maybe been a bit more funky. I don't mind the fact that it's, you know, the, the shape of it and everything else, but rather than being, you know, all rustic, rustic, it would have looked kind of cool if it was pink all over or something, you know, with maybe a little bit of like a velvet inlay. Um, maybe. That's the only little thing that I feel could have been improved. Um, I mean, I quite like this, actually. I know some people probably don't agree with it being all printed out and would prefer, a, you know, a big hard kind of book. But I actually quite like that. I think it's easy to work with. You know, you know where you stand, you know where you're at with it. There's no problems, there's no drama. So that side of things works fine. And it's what you expect from sort of self-published um, decks. You don't often get, or you don't always get a huge amount of information or like a huge big book to go with it so I think that side of things is perfect love the cards really good quality as should be with any self um, published deck all the money has been spent on the cards themselves and that's how it should be done and that clearly has been done here which I think is a really really good way of doing it so that's fabulous I love that side of things um, yeah so can't fault that exactly the cards themselves can't really fault them to be honest like I said, they are fabulous and you can take so much from that, you know, as the collective message, what was channeled, but also you could, you could look at that independently and you could get a lot from it from a sort of intuitive and psychic space. So this, this is a great deck to sort of challenge and test your own magic, your own awareness. So I do think, like I say, an eight or a nine in terms of its overall kind of quality and way of being. So it's the Enchanting Flowers, Flower Wisdom cards created by Rosanna. Um, also known as Fairy Row or, you know, Fairy Queen as I call her, Row Nash. But check it out, guys. I'll put the link up to this in the uh, description so you'll be able to obviously see that and check it out. And, uh, yeah, if you feel like treating yourself, it's an amazing deck, one really worth having in the collection. 
like I say, I use it a lot for healing. I use it a lot for spell work. I use it a lot to just pull a card for the day. And they make great altar cards as well. So fabulous array of uses there. So I'm going to leave that with you. Hope it resonates. Stay safe and well. Have a fabulous week ahead, guys. And I'll catch up with some of you lovelies very soon. Much love. Bye for now.